Good afternoon. Mr. Martinez, good afternoon. Welcome to the English class. Thank you. <laughs> well, we have, well, in some seconds, we are going to start the class. And I see Anita, good afternoon, Carlita and Tatiana. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> Mr. Martinez, that is in Disney, Disneyland, right? The picture you have. <laughs> Interesting. Anita. Para alegrar, para alegrar la tarde. <laughs> well, that's a good idea. <laughs> okay, good. Very good. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the class. Thank you for being here on time. Today is your Friday, and it's also, uh, well, it's, what day is today? Help me, because I don't remember. <laughs> it's your Friday, but in real life, <laughs> Thursday. It's Thursday, exactly, February. 3rd, February 3rd. Remember that with dates, we use the ordinal numbers. So first, second, and today is 3rd, February 3rd, it's class number 12. And today's topic is how often do you, as I told you yesterday, today we are going to practice the question, how often do you with adverse frequency and expressions of frequency? Good afternoon, Byron. Welcome. So let's look at the lesson objective for today is that by the end of this class, you will learn how to use adverse of frequency when talking about food. And we have the following activities. Uh, let's see, Mr. Martinez, can you please read the activities in the agenda? OK, agenda. Activity one, recalling previous class. Activity two, frequency adverbs. Activity three, how often do you? Activities wrap up. Wrap up, yes, thank you so much. So those are the activities for today. It's a very short agenda, but with a lot of work. So let's begin. Let's start. Activity one is recalling previous knowledge. And for this activity, I have um, a game, which is a stop the bus. Have you ever played stop the bus? Maybe when you were in the school, stop the bus. Stop the bus. Well, in Spanish is bachillerato stop. And in English is um, stop the bus. I'm son of juegos. So today you are going to play stop the bus in English. Okay. This is an example. Imagine we have, I'm going to explain for those who didn't play this game. Voy a explicar por los que quizás nunca han jugado, ¿verdad? Okay, in this game, I'm going to tell you one letter. In this case, it's letter A. And um, you have to write a name that starts with A, a verb, food, adverb, object, country. And if you, if you are the first to complete all the categories, you say, stop the bus, and stop the bus. I'm gonna write it here, stop the bus. Okay? And then we share the, the answers. When we share the answers, if you have 
the same answer, the same word as another classmate, you will get five points. But if nobody else, nobody else has the same word, you will get 10 points, okay? So, are you ready? Well, first you need to copy. You need to copy a table in your notebook or on a page and, and put the categories. Letter, name, verb, food, adverb, object, country, etc. Wow, Anita, so fast. Okay, what about the others? Please copy the table and let me know when you finish. When you finish copying. <laughs> ok, you have to copy. Vale, lo que van a hacer ahorita nomás es copiar las categorías. ¿Verdad? Copiar las categorías. ¿Sí? Y ya cuando estén listos, para que empecemos, yo voy a decir la letra. Yo voy a decir la letra y ustedes van a empezar, ¿verdad? Y el primero que termine dice stop the bus. Okay, ready? Yes. Okay, so um, let's see, we have a message. Let's see. What about the letter S? S, the letter S. Disculpe la pregunta. ¿Y tiene que ser en orden para formar una oración? ¿Tiene que ser? ¿En orden para formar un, una oración? No, no, no tiene que ser exactamente en orden. 
O sea, usted puede llenar ahí la categoría, la que, la que se sepa más rápido. Por ejemplo, ahí en el, en el ejemplo que les puse, ¿verdad? Name with A, Anthony, verb, arrive, food, apple pie, adverb, always, object, airplane, country, Argentina. So with the letter S, you have to look for a name. Tiene que poner un nombre con S, with S. A verb with S. Food with S. Adverb with S, object with S, and country with S. Gracias. Good afternoon, Naomi. Welcome to the class. Good afternoon, teacher. <laughs> okay, nadie dice stop the bus. <laughs> oh, okay, Anita, stop the bus, okay? Everybody, please say stop. Stop, don't write pencils down. Let's start, okay, with the name. Okay, let's see, Anita, what name do you have with the letter S? Sonia. Okay, Sonia. Eh, Tatiana? Sara? Carlita? Mm, Sabrina. Briseida. Selena. Byron. Samuel. Noemí. Bueno, Noemí se acaba de unir, ¿verdad? Juan. Sabín. Sabín. O sea, Sabina. <ríe> Pero lo había dicho. Ok. Now, verb. Anita, en el mismo orden, van diciendo, ¿verdad? Anita, in the same order. Swim. Tatiana. Scar. En verbo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Scare. Scare. Asustar. Ajá. Uh -huh. Scare. Ok, uh -huh. Carlita. Y le say Anita, swim. Swim, ok. Briseida, five points. Sleep. Oh, yeah, my favorite one. No, just kidding. Byron? Sleep. Oh, Briseida and Byron. Five points. Juan? Sing. Sing. Your favorite activity, Juan. <laughs> okay, now food with S. Anita? Sushi. Sushi. Okay, Tatiana? Yo puse una fruta, no sé si se vale. Yes, it's okay. Strawberry. Strawberry, perfect. Carlita? Sandwich. Briseida? Uh, soap. Soup, soup, because soap es jabón. So soup. Byron? Soup. Soup. <laughs> Briseida and Byron? I think they work together. <laughs> Juancito? Soup. <laughs> soup. Soup. Okay, soup. Mm -hmm. Interesting. What about seeds, semillas? Okay, that's food too. Uh, salmon, the fish. Mm, and others. Star fruit. It's a fruit. <laughs> uh, let's see now with the adverb. Strawberry is the other Sometimes. Who so? Sometimes. Does everybody have sometimes? Time. Sometimes. 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 
Yes, okay. teacher. Okay. Yes. Okay. Object. Yes. Ya no. Back. With S, object. Uh -huh. Sock. Saco. Sock. Ok. Carlita. Is cyberwalk. Sidewalk. Acera. Sidewalk. Sidewalk. Coach uh, Adver is same. Same. Is correct. Same. Ok, ya. Yeah. Bueno, lo que no puse era Adver of Frequency. <laughs> But that was the idea, okay? Albert of Frequency. Okay. Um, next person is Brice. Um, I see no, no encontré. With object. Sandals. Soap, jabón. Soap, shampoo. Okay, Byron. Sun. Song, una canción, ok. Ana. Ah, sorry, Juan, cito. Uh, smartphone. Great, smartphone, ok. What about country? I don't know what is the pronunciation, but it's Suecia. Sweden. Sweden. Sweden, ajá. Uh -huh. Suiza is Switzerland. Switzerland. Tatiana? Spain. Spain. Carlita? Sudáfrica. South Africa. South, South Africa. Africa. South Africa. Yes. Briseira? Uh, Spain. Okay, Vaira? South Africa. Uh, and Juancito? Juancito, your country. Syria. Okay, Syria. We also have Surinam, right? Sri Lanka. Good. Okay, let's do the last. What letter do you want? Let me think about a letter. Okay, what do you want? The letter O or the letter N? O. Letter O. o okay, letter O. O. Yes. Yes, letter O, letter O, O, as in orange.
stop the bus. I finished. And you? This letter is very complicated. The letter O. <laughs> But there are there is there are names, there are verbs, there is food, there is an, two adverbs of frequency, objects, and also there is one country with the letter O. Only one country. Ready to share the answers? What are you missing, Anita? Country. Okay, you can look on the internet. What is the only country with the letter O? <laughs> can I? Yes. Coach is o Oman. Yes, Oman. Uh-huh, Oman. Uh -huh, Oman. <laughs> okay, so let's start with the name. I have Olga. Tatiana? What? What teacher? No le entendí. Name. <clears throat> Oswald. Oswald. Oswaldo. Uh-huh. Okay, Carlita? Oscar. Briseida. Omar. Byron. Orlando. Um, Anita. Uh, Ovidio. Juan. We couldn't hear you. Noemi, are you ready, Noemi? Hola, hola. Odir. Odir, okay. Noemi? Osmar. Osmar, okay. Verb, I have originate. Originate. Tatiana? Order. Carlita? It's the same order. Briseida. Um, order. <laughs> Byron. Organize. 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 Yes, Noemi. Anita? Owen? Your, your verb is? Me. Eh, no, me? Okay, Anita. Is a uh, occupy? Occupy. 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 Uh -huh. Juan Martinez. Order. The, the order. order. Okay. The same. Five points. Food. I have oat, which is avena. Oat. Tatiana. Onion. Carlita. Orange. Briseida. <laughs> Orange. Byron. Onion. Noemi? Teacher? Yes? Ornament. Okay, and comida. Office? Food. Ah, okay. Ah, ya. Yeah. Um, oil? Oil, yes, nice, like orisol or mazola. Ana Mendoza? Uh, orange. En Juan? Uh, 
Uh, onions. Okay, five points, Juan. Other or frequency, Tatiana? Often. Carlita? Often. Briseida? Often. Byron? Power. And other frequency? Office. Often. Noemi? Frequency of teacher. Uh -huh. Albert yes. of frequency. With uh, letter O. Uh, Anita? Okay. Juan? Open. I have occasionally. Occasionally. <laughs> Object. No, no, it's here. I can I can share my screen and you will see that I, I have that. Let me share the screen. Did you change the answer? No, I didn't change <laughs> it. Of course not. What about the object? I have obelisk. And you, Tatiana? Or. ¿Qué es eso? Remo. Ah, ok. Uh, Carlita? I don't know. Open octopus. Octopus. <laughs> octopus, ok. <laughs> Briseida? Um, oasis. Ok, very good. Byron? Open. ¿Qué dijo? Open means abierto. Y aquí estamos hablando de un object, un objeto. Noemi? Oven. Oven, ajá, horno. Anita? Oil. Aceitío. Juan Martínez? Uh, oasis. Oasis. Okay, also we have outfit. And the only country is Oman. Okay, so very good. Now that you have finished, you have to count the points. How many points did you get? Count your points, please. And write in the chat the points, your points. How many points you got? How many points? I want to see, I want to see, I want to see. The the is, what is one point, the name? Very two points. No, no, no. If, if you have, well, si tienen, lo, si tenían, igual que sus compañeros, solo tenían cinco puntos en cada una. Si... No tenían sus compañeros la misma palabra que usted, entonces son 10 puntos. Ah, ok. Por ejemplo, with the letter O, nadie tenía las mismas que yo, vea. So I got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Ah, no, sí, o man. 55 points. Man, teacher. Yes, yes, 55 points. <laughs> 55 points, ok. Anita has 95, porque sumó los dos, ¿verdad? Tanto letter O and letter S. Yes. Forty. Okay. Pero de las dos, both. Ah, okay. Letter S and letter O. 19. Excellent. 90 points. But he's saying that 65.
And the other is fixed points. In total? Mm, 60 plus 40? 100! <laughs> no. 90? Oh, 50 plus 40. I hold 60. Okay, 90 points. Byron 90 has 90, 95, like Anita. Mr. Martinez? Estoy haciendo la cuenta. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're doing the math. Did you like this game? 75 me salen. 75. 75, Mr. Martinez. Yes, 75. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, guys. You are going to create a story, a story using the name, verb, food, a frequency, object, and country. For example, I made one example with the letter A. Anthony is my best friend. He's from Argentina. He can cook very well. He can make a delicious apple pie. He arrives to El Salvador next weekend. He always travels by airplane. I hope he makes an apple pie for me. Okay, so now you see that. I'm sorry. Do you have a lot of ideas. <laughs> okay, yes. now with the letter S, you are going to create a story or with the letter O, but uh, we are gonna do it in, in, in groups. Okay, so we're gonna create groups with the group one is letter S and the group two is the letter O. Okay, so you're gonna work on this. Remember group one, letter S, group two, letter O. You will have five minutes to create a story. ¿Cómo podemos empezar? Como podríamos empezar como a decir de que, porque nos tocó, nos tocó con la letra S, ¿verdad? Así es. Vaya, de que tenemos que escoger entonces solamente un nombre, no sé cuál el nombre tienen ustedes. El mío es Sonia. Vaya, que podríamos decir que Sonia es una mm. joven, no sé, una, algún adverbio. O que le gusta comer alguna 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 comida de las que hemos puesto por ejemplo onion o sushi ajá Byron with the letter S remember you have to use all the words with the letter S yes Jenny. Cebolla. 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 Cebol
Podríamos poner he doesn't like eat onions. He doesn't like eating onions. Ah, eating, perdón. Onion. Vaya. Y ahora vamos con el arbor. Creo que todos pusieron, pusimos off, office. Sí, yo Office. Este, hay otro. Ah, la teacher. Vaya, occasionally, mis... occasionally. Oscar, estamos con Oscar. Denos una con occasionally. Sí, ok, sería como he occasionally travel to what, the sea. What do you, what do you, um, what verbs do you have? Uh, often, in my case. No, verb. Order. Swing. Order, ah. Ok, Or he occasionally orders Oscar. food. Without onions. Okay. Sería he occasionally orders food without onions. Orders food. What is without? Sin. Okay. Sin ordena comida sin cebolla. Vale. Uh -huh. Y ahora vamos con el objeto. Uh, en mi caso puse side the wall. Side the wall es como la acera. Y, sí, podríamos poner prefiere caminar por la acera. He prefer to walk in the side walk. On the sidewalk. On the sidewalk. Sería he, pre he prefer to walk to walk on the or in the on the on the sidewalk y el país otro compañero que dé lo último del país que es Oman únicamente Did you finish? Yes, teacher. Okay, great. So we can we can share the story. Uh, decide who is going to share the story with the class, okay? Very good, okay, so group one, who is going to share the story?
Group number one. Tatiana, Anita, Byron, Janet. I am teacher. Okay, Byron. He is Samuel. He is sometimes going to sleep after makes a song. He likes the soup and he is from South Africa. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, so he likes sleeping Thanks, after teacher. making a sandwich <laughs> or after eating a sandwich. Now with the letter O, Group number two. Mm. Okay, Carita. Okay. Oscar is my young brother. He orders his booms on weekends in the morning. He doesn't like eating onion. He occasionally orders food without onions. And he preferred to walk on the seated walk. And finally, Oscar lives in Oman. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Good ideas, good ideas. Okay, now let's learn about the use of how often. I am sharing the screen. Just give a second to my computer, which is a little bit slow. It's all. So we have to we have to be considerate with this old computer. <laughs> okay. So yesterday we learned that frequency adverbs, the the order is subject, adverb of frequency, verb, and complement. And you had these examples. She never makes her bed. My family always has dinner together. And I sometimes eat fruit for breakfast. Now, it is, the structure or the order is just a little bit different when the verb is the verb to be, the verb me. So when it's the verb be, the subject goes first, then the verb be, and then the adverb of frequency and the complement. So you just have to change that. And in that case, we have these examples. She is always early for work. I am usually very busy every day. Ella siempre está temprano para trabajar. Yo usualmente estoy muy ocupada todos los días. I am usually very busy every day. So with the verb be, the verb be will be before the adverb of frequency. That is the, the difference between other verbs and the verb to be using adverbs of frequency. Now, with how often is the question to know how frequent a, a person does an activity? For example, how often do you eat pupusas? I always eat pupusas on weekends. And I have more questions over here that I'm gonna ask you. Uh, let's see. Uh, Tatiana, how often do you see your friends? Tati. No muy a menudo, como se dice, teacher. Okay, entonces sería, I don't see them very often. I don't see I them, don't see them. I very don't often. See them very often. Or you can say, I rarely see my friends. I rarely see my friends. Uh, raramente veo a mis amigos. I rarely see my friend or I hardly ever see my friends. Teacher. Yes? Uh, Tiene problemas más con pantalla o seré yo ah hoy ya ya gracias sí verdad que pantalla negra le salía verdad I'm sí sorry about that. <laughs> okay next question Carlita how often does your family go out 
how often does your family? I don't know. Go out. Ah, okay. Salgo con familia. Ah, me pego en el corazón. Eh. Dice, ¿cuán a menudo tu familia sale? O sea, todos juntos, ¿verdad? Ah, you and your family. Bueno, hace tiempos que no lo hacemos porque uh, I okay. live uh -huh. on with my mother and we never we never go out with my family only with my mom and two dos veces no sé. ok Ok, um, you hardly, oh, you, you go out with your mom twice a year or twice a month. Mm -hmm. and twice a week, no, twice a week. Twice a week, ok. Yes, and um, um, Sunday uh, we go to the shore. You go to the church together. Yes. Ok, Briseida, how often do you drink water? I I drink I drink how do you say cada every repeat please I drink water every uh, I drink water water every uh, three hours oh that's excellent Okay, mm, let's see, Anita, how often do you exercise? I do exercise three times a month. Excellent. <laughs> I do exercise or exercise three times a month. Okay, uh, Mr. Martinez, Juan, how often do you cook? I do, do cook. You never cook? Yes, no. I, 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 every day. Okay, o sea, so yo always. I always cook. But for all the family. And the last one. Um, Noemi. Okay, Noemi. How often, how often does the teacher dance in class? How often does the teacher dance in class? No. <laughs> exactly. No. He never dances. <laughs> okay, I would very like good. to see. <laughs> the teacher never dances in classes. <laughs> okay. Well, guys, what time is it? It's 1.51. Okay, the homework is to make six questions using how often. How often? I'm going to give you um, five minutes to create the questions, okay? I think we can have some time. Five minutes to answer the questions, okay? to answer the questions, to create the questions using how often, okay? We are to create a uh, question. Yes, you create the questions. Only that. You create the questions and you have to ask the questions to a partner. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna give you five minutes right now to make the questions. 
And then in groups, you are going to ask and answer the questions, okay? Practice speaking. Okay, five minutes have already passed. Let's see. Okay, he, how often does your boyfriend or husband get <laughs> get your roses? Get get your roses. Get your roses. <laughs> I had problems when with Zoom. I don't know what, what's what's the big thing today. <laughs> but um, now, guys, I'm going to assign you in a small groups, and you are going to ask, okay? Ask and answer the questions. So try to do it quickly, please. Okay. Oops. Wait. Wait. Wait a moment. 
Go ahead. Noemí no puede entrar. Teacher, tengo problemas, fíjese. Claro. Se me congela la pantalla. Bueno, entonces voy a mover a Anita con... Y Noemí, vamos a intentar. De nuevo, a ver qué tal. Ahí está. Cuando por fin entró, la mandé a otra. <risa> ya va a entrar. me puede hacer usted una preguntita y si quiere yo se la se la contesto ok um, la primera how often do you visit your grandfather i usually uh, i usually visit my grandfather um at three times a week. Ok, vaya. Entonces, ahí, perdón, Tatiana. Sí. Usamos o el adverbio de frecuencia o una expresión de frecuencia. Ahí en, lo, en su respuesta uso do, dos, las dos. Dice, uh -huh. ajá, puede decir, I usually visit my grandfather or I visit my grandfather three times a week. Ah, ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. You Gracias. only use one. Okay. okay. <laughs> You're welcome. But ahora mm -hmm. let's see. How often do you travel to another country? I never travel to another country, but I visit Honduras and Guatemala, but six, six months ago, I was visiting Honduras and... Juega pelota cada hora y media. Yes, you two play... times. ¿Qué, ¿Qué es lo que quiere decir, Byron? I play soccer every 90 minutes. Ajá, y dice que juega. Every time. Dice, ahí está diciendo, mire, yo juego, pero yo juego fútbol cada 90 minutos. Pero la respuesta es, es significa entonces que usted... Este, cada 90 minutos está jugando. No, uh -huh. Every 45 minutes. Ah, es que vaya, la pregunta ahí creo que se ha confundido un poquito. Porque para decir eh, cuánto tiempo juegas es How long do you play soccer? How long? 
Pero este es, how often do you play soccer? ¿Cuán a menudo? Once a week, every weekend, every Saturday, or eh, every day, every afternoon. How often do you play soccer? How uh, other? How often do you go to the beach? I hardly ever go to the beach. Excellent, excellent. Uh -huh. Pero dígame usted, how often do you play soccer, Byron? Uh, in afternoon. Okay, I play soccer every afternoon. Every afternoon. Yes, that's correct. You got it. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so it's 2.03, it's time to finish our class. But I think it was a nice class because you learned and practiced vocabulary and also the use of how often. And that is great. And that is great. <laughs> okay, we don't have any time for the last activity, so I'm going to send you the questions, and you can answer the questions on WhatsApp, okay? You can send the homework. It's going to be your homework, okay? Because we don't have time in this moment. It's already 2.04, but um, in those questions, you have to mention 10 foods and 10 drinks. You can say in an audio so that I can hear your pronunciation. Say what you ate yesterday in the breakfast, lunch, and dinner. What do you never drink or eat? What do you always do when you wake up? And what do you always do when you go to bed? Okay, so that, that's your homework. And it was a pleasure to, to teach you this week. This week. Okay. <laughs> And I hope to see you next Monday, which is the last week, okay, of the model number two. And then you will pass to model number three, which is, is great. Okay, so goodbye. See you next week. Have a nice weekend. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye. You're welcome. Bye.